Ajay, uh, a few months ago, I saw one of your video where it was written that manifest within 48 hours. Now, the title was very catchy. I clicked on the video and in that video, you were having a yellow duck in your hand and you said to people, to your viewers that I'm not asking you to manifest your dream goal or your partner or your career or whatever else. Just manifest this yellow duck and you will see it within 44, 48 hours. And you were speaking with such confidence and I was like... You know, we have all skeptical little mind, uh, you know, our mind has that skepticism. I was like, what is he saying? And why a yellow duck? I opened the comments and that's what I mostly do. I mostly read the comments. And oh my God, hundreds of comments where people were like, I saw the duck within two hours, six hours, 10 hours, 20 hours. There were certain comments that were like 10 days also, but people saw the duck. So many positive comments. So I was like, I have to try this. It is just a simple three-step process. Meditate on it, visualize it. I did all those exercises that you, uh, you know, said in that six, seven, eight minutes video. I manifested that, brought it in my visualization, and then I forgot about it. Because it was not so important to me also, right? But within two days, like one day after, next to next day, I was crossing through the airport and I saw the duck, a similar duck, in a gift shop. And I was like, oh my God. How is this even possible? This works. This 48 hours and whatever, you know, what was that? It wasn't just a gimmick because if it has happened for so many hundreds of people and it happened for me also, I was like, I have to get you on my show. And I have to help my viewers reap benefits from your teaching, from your coaching. And uh, the viewers um, who are uh, wondering what this video is about, I'm going to link this video uh, in the description box you can go to that video and practice for yourself you can read all the comments this is not a cooked up story this is absolutely true first of all that uh, uh, yellow duck manifestation is an amazing experiment and so far thousands of people have done it and i can tell you how many comments the day i saw it it was 990 comments i don't know how many are today this is about a month or a, a few days back yeah. so yeah that was the status so literally a thousand comments and most of them i think all of them positive what are the ingredients to this process of manifestation and how can i manifest the life of my dreams so first of all when we talk about manifestation manifestation is about bringing something into reality how manifestation works we need to understand that our thoughts become our feelings or feelings drive our action and our action create the result. This is how we create anything in our life. But most of our, most of us has been programmed from childhood to focus on only the last step, the action. Do hard work, study well, do this action, do that action, and that will create the result. But even if we are working hard, even if we are taking action, but if the first thing is not right, like the thought process is not clear, not right, not aligned, then we cannot manifest. So now coming to the process of manifestation first what we have to do we have to set our vision clearly we should have a vision we should have a goal clearly like what we want what i want at this point of life maybe for next year maybe for next three years in different areas of life what kind of life i want to lead first i should have that clarity then i have to check my belief if i can like what kind of beliefs i'm carrying whether I am feeling positive about this area or this manifestation or this goal or I am feeling scared or I am feeling doubtful or I have picked up some goals which are not even mine from other people. Uh, like it is said, we have to dream, we have to believe, we have to let go, let go of the resistances like the negative beliefs. We have to take action and then we manifest. Ajay, what would be your uh, top three tips you know, what would be your three tips to be in a better alignment with your own true self, your inner self? One of the best way to get it into alignment is meditation, meditating on a regular basis. It won't get you aligned directly, but it gives you that time or that energy to think and understand what you are doing, what you really want, what you don't want, what you picked it from other people, what is that shiny object syndrome if you are going through or if you are really coming from deep within. Because when you calm your mind, you get to hear the right thing. So one is for alignment, one of the most important thing is meditation. The second thing even meditation helps you is to release a lot of negative baggages that you are carrying and you are always living in a chaos and you don't want to be aware about it. So one is meditation. Second is 
visualization or imagination where you actually start to see those things happening you start to visualize that okay what i desire or what i'm manifesting that is already happening so you get to align more and more and more towards that and the third is like affirmation which is like changing the self talk changing the self talk these are the like the top 3 and anyone can use it anyone can follow it apart from that there can be many other tools which can bring you alignment depending upon if you are very much interested in certain kind of tool like for example if you love to practice gratitude so gratitude can bring you alignment because you are focusing on being grateful of whatever you have what you desire i have some people in our academy uh, on uh, big manifestation that there are some people who have manifested everything only through gratitude they don't apply any other tool you know uh, you're talking about gratitude and that is my next conversation most of us are jumping from one manifestation to other we have made a web of manifestation around ourselves there are so many things that we want in our lives and if one thing doesn't come true we jump to the other then we jump to the next one now this constantly manifesting also is making us not so happy and satisfied with our current reality now if we have this energy within us that we are not happy about our current reality it's not a very powerful vibration that we are exuding right and when we are not exuding a powerful uh, radiation when we are not grateful for what we have right now how is it that we are going to have uh, more in our life how we are going to manifest what we are desiring and that's why i always say gratitude is the magic ingredient of manifestation because i have seen many people who are struggling in visualizing people who are struggling to change their self talk and people who are struggling to even taking action they start with gratitude and just change now how gratitude works like you said we are focusing on the lack let's suppose if i am saying that oh i don't have money i don't have relationship i am not good looking i am not good enough so what i am doing i am focusing only on the lack now what is law of attraction like attracts like if i am focusing on lack so what i'll be attracting more lack right whatever you focus it expand i am focusing on lack more lack will come so now i start being grateful now for example let's suppose i am not earning 1 lakh rupees i am earning only 10000 rupees so i'll say i'm grateful for earning 10000 that doesn't mean i'm removing my mind from or shifting my mind from earning 1 lakh rupees rupees some day i am saying today i am earning 5000 rupees or 10000 rupees let me be grateful for it today i don't have a house of my own today i have a small rented house let me be grateful for it today i don't have a partner with me but i am with me who is going to manifest let me be grateful for me today i may not be perfectly healthy but i am alive and that's where one of the beautiful quote buddha has said buddha said the the beginning of gratitude if you have nothing today with you then be grateful that you are alive because you are alive that's why you can do everything and you can manifest everything and create everything if you are not alive how can you even manifest or it doesn't matter then what you have around you so starting with being grateful for being alive is the beginning and then being grateful for whatever you have it means you are saying thank you for whatever you have you are feeling grateful so like attracts like